Now it's going to be very exciting. We will learn how to use the sensors of our phone. This opens a lot of possibilities. We can make our program very interactive and we can program cool games. In this video, you can directly join along again. Create a new program and a new object. My object is a penguin from the media library. We want to move this object with the inclination of our smartphone. If we tilt our smartphone to the right, the penguin should also move to the right. We first need the brick when program starts. Then we need to go to the category motion where we find the brick change x by 10. We change the value of the number by tapping on it. Besides the number pad, there are many other options in the formula editor like object, functions, logic or device. Tap on device to see what kind of sensors your smartphone has. Let's pick the inclination sensor in the X direction. Tap on OK to save the changes. Now let's test the program. Hmm, it doesn't work. When I tilt my smartphone, the object doesn't move. The explanation why it doesn't work is that the X position of the object only changes once to the inclination value of the sensor. This happens immediately when we start the program, so we don't see any movement. In order to move the object according to the inclination of the phone, we need to change the X position all the time to our sensor value. So if something should happen all the time, what brick do we need? Exactly, we need a forever brick. Let's test the program again. See, now it works. When you tilt our phone, the penguin also moves. However, if you look closely, you can recognize that the penguin is moving mirror inverted. If you tilt the phone to the left, it moves to the right. To change this, we need to go back to the formula editor. Place a minus before inclination x to reverse all the values. If we now test our program, the penguin moves into the right direction. A short question. What do we need to do so that the penguin also moves up and down? Exactly. We repeat the same steps, but this time we do it with the Y position and the Y inclination. Now the penguin also moves up and down, if we tilt the smartphone forward or backward. If we tilt our smartphone too much, the penguin moves out of the screen. We can also change that by adding the brick if on edge bounce. You need to place this brick inside our forever loop since it should happen all the time and not only once. Super! We learned how to use sensors. A short tip at the end. Please note that you can amplify or reduce sensor values. For amplifying, multiply the value of a sensor with a number bigger than 1. For reducing, divide the value. So in our example, if the object moves too much, you can reduce the sensor values by dividing it by a certain number. Is the movement too slight? You can amplify the values by multiplying the values with a number higher than 1. Which numbers exactly you need, you need to try by yourself. In this case, the values look very good, so we don't need to change them.